Well, my, uh, the way <laughs> I got started is completely different than um, how they got started. I, I uh, and in fact, I, I don't know if my, like, story is something that your college administrators would love for me to be sharing with you, college students, but, um, I mean, so, like Jamie said, I graduated from Temple last May. I graduated from high school in 2000. So, my, uh, my college career was not typical by any means. Um, and um, I guess I got started, I, got, I, was, I went to American University in DC for two and a half years and I was really active in the music scene down there, in the punk rock scene. And I uh, did some event stuff like on campus um, for the student union board and the independent arts collective, so large scale, small scale. Um, and then I also did stuff around um, around the city, like promoting and everything like that, just because I would get to go to concerts for free and shows for free, and um, and I love music, so I did that. And um, and I was a criminal psychology major. I wanted to be a forensic psychologist. I wanted to be Clary Starlin from Sounds of the Lambs. So you know what I'm talking about. Um, but I, uh, you know, life happens. And I had a big tragedy occur in my life, and it actually kind of made me decide that I needed to reevaluate what I wanted to do, and maybe not do something so cynical. And so I moved to New York to, I just knew I wanted to do something with music, music industry, entertainment, maybe film. I just knew I liked the entertainment world. I loved Us Weekly. I love people. I like reading about what's going on in the celeb world, but I know that sounds really like, Love us weekly, but <laughs> no, I just like I like I like the you know the brighter side of life, like the entertaining people, and not like figuring out why they do bad things to good people, you know. Um, and so I got an internship at a record label in the PR department, and I had no idea if I wanted to do PR or anything like that. Um, and I loved it, and I just at that point I wasn't in school. Um, I was just. I was living with my grandma in New York and in New York City and I had no money and I just worked like it was my job. You know, I worked 60 hours a week for free. Um, and actually I think I paid them money because I, you know, bought myself lunch every day and took the subway. Um, and through good timing and luck and the fact that they had to like kick me out at the end of the day, um, I ended up getting hired a couple of months later. Um, as junior publicist, and then ended up getting promoted over the next year for um, three times to be national tour publicist. So I was in charge of all um, uh, V2 Records, is a subsidiary of Virgin. So we had uh, international touring bands. So, but I was just in charge of tour press for the country. Um, and um, and I was 24 years old, I think then. And then I. You know, the music industry being what it is, there's not a lot of money unless you're like, you know, selling Jay-Z's records or something. <laughs> and um, I figured it was, you know, I was racking up a whole lot of debt living in the city. Because by that time I had moved out from my grandma's house. I had my own place. But it was still expensive and um, I decided that I didn't want too much more time to go before I went back to school and finished my degree. And I um, moved back to Philly, which is where I was born and raised. and. Um, my boss, when I left, she said she would write me a recommendation to go back to school if I, um, as long as I didn't go back for PR, because I already knew what I was doing and I didn't need a degree to go any further. Um, she was really cheering me on there to go back to school. Um, and, um, and so I figured, I, I've always been a writer, um, and you really need to know the journalism industry in order to be able to be a good publicist. You know, you need to be able to pitch the stories, find the stories, know what the journalists want to write about. And especially in this day and age where um, there's so few journalists um, to the amount of stuff that's coming out, you know, coming at them, especially in music. You know, everybody can release a record or a song or whatever, and less people are getting paid to write about them. 